ever actually wondered if chemistry is important in FIFA? Hey guys, T-Max signing in. Hope you're all having a great day. Today, I'm basically going to be seeing if chemistry is important on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. It's going to be a bit of a challenge as well, so I'm going to jump into a game with the team and hopefully get a win. Now, I'm going to tell you now, this team has literally red links galore. Players are out of position, and the whole idea of this team is actually just freaking crazy. And quickly, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comment section. Trying to mix things up a little bit, bring you guys more challenges, so hope you're enjoying this kind of thing. Decided to actually go the 4-3-3 form mainly because i thought i would have pace with the wingers and the fullbacks this is the team as you can see right there starting off from the goalkeeper we have Traore. this dude is six for eight which is why he's my goalkeeper center backs we have kiyaki is the first one obviously 77 defending 87 physical and 76 pace that is literally the only reason is one of my center backs next him knowing goal and 80 defending 84 physical 80 pace what more else do you want in a centre back? Like these two could actually pass the centre back. Right back we have a bar ball, 92 pace, 78 physical. What you want to be on it. The other side we have promised. This dude's got 88 pace, 82 dribbling. Doesn't have the best defending stats, but in game he plays well, so I've thrown him there. Midfield we have Asari. This dude has 78 pace, 72 physical, 74 defending, which isn't too bad. But Percy on the other side, mainly have him here because he's got that passing. Got 81 passing, 81 dribbling, 86 shooting. So he should be able to create chance out basically one of my favorite players to use in the game ever 94 pace 83 dribbling and owning that composition and the three up front we have Kavanda 91 pace which is why he's there Al Sharani 93 pace and up top we have Alaba with a 92 pace and 81 dribbling doesn't really have the best shooting but hopefully he performs well in game nevertheless this is the whole team zero chemistry as you can see there drop your like if you're enjoying this video so far and down in the comment section suggest some challenges challenges for example playing with the tallest team shortest team worst team i know a few of you guys have done it been reading your comments but if anyone has any cool ideas just let me know this is a pretty built squad hopefully we should be able to give someone a decent game the challenge here is to basically go in a game and try win with it it's not going to be easy and no matter what happens with me guys i want you guys to try it out and with that said let's jump into a game this is the team we're coming up against guys he's got marshall in there griezmann looks like a decent hybrid let's see how this zero chemistry team can do against this guy oh snap i'm in trouble oh my days and he scored already literally took him two minutes i should be doing better than that i know we've got zero chemistry but come on now oh okay sal come on sal sal yes Oh, we get a goal there. I think that was Alba. Alba freaking places it in somehow. I don't actually know how he managed to do that. But we're level. It's 1-1. One, one. There we go. Great defending. Boom. Bring it back to him. Keep it moving. Oh. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. No. If that had gone in, I would have been so annoyed at freaking Traore for keeping it in for him to score. Who's running? Sal! Come on! Oh, don't let him shoot. Oh, I think that was a block. I'm not even sure there. What? Why did he try? Okay, come on. There we go. Come on, then, Golden. Fights him off. Okay. Okay, Alva. There we go, finish it. Oh my, how is he hitting the near post? Just don't take him down. Oh snap. Oh my days. He literally just dribbled around my centre backs. I was literally sliding for dear life trying to stop him from scoring. No. No. Oh, there we go. We put him off enough like if he scored that. I would have been so annoyed. Right, guys, it's half time. I've actually got more possession, but he's got more shots on target. He's in the lead. Let's hopefully score some more goals and get back into this game. And let's jump into the second half. Boys, I know you're tired, but we can do this. Come on. Oh, there we go. Sal, you are through. Sal, Sal, Sal. And Sal freaking gets the goal. This is why I think he's the best cheap striker in the game. Scratch that. He can play in any position and still get goals. This dude is so small. I don't know where he gets the strength from. But it's 2-2 two -two, guys. Ref. Thank you. It's going to have to be Van Persie. What can he do for us? 
let it go over and drop nicely come on what a freaking goal by rvp oh my days probably one of the best free kicks i've scored this year wow it's actually 3-2 guys okay he's he's mad he's coming in with everything he's got there we go we just can't let him turn in there we go come on he's left himself open at the back because he was mad can we make good use of it come on come on just smash it oh my days it comes off the post they usually go in come on come on no 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 oh my freaking days Ugh, why was no one marking him oh man letting in headers is literally like the worst thing he's oh oh how am i conceding a goal like that come on oh my days what a goal there's nothing i could really do about that i mean i tried don't get me wrong i freaking did all i could come on come on get through just smash it there we freaking go okay i guess we brought one back Traore, just hold the ball in your hands, man. He's six for eight. Is a giant somewhere in his mind. He should have the freaking the instinct to freaking hold the ball. And that's the end of the game, guys. It finishes six four. Van Persie had an eight point two rating. He was by far one of the best players in the game. Him and Sal. Goals came from Van Persie, Sal, Alba, and Cavanda. And this is the team once again. As you can see now, it's on three chemistry. The chemistry has gone up mainly because after that game, three players hit their tenth game for me so they got the loyalty card and because of that you get your chemistry increased by one as you can see there three of them now have a little green shield on them nevertheless i hope you enjoy this challenge it was a really difficult challenge i'm not gonna lie i tried my best drop a like if you did enjoy it also try it out yourself guys and let me know how it goes for you guys and down in the comment section let me know what other challenges you'd like to see me do and i'll be happy to do them and for today that's about it follow me on twitter instagram snapchat everywhere links are in the description this is team signing out subscribe if you want you thanks for watching guys and see ya <laughs> this is the end of the video hi if you enjoy just comment and subscribe want to see more don't forget to leave a like do it <laughs> this is team signing out